Hi students, now we are on to our next exercise, exercise number 14.3, question number 1 and this is our uh, figure and we have to find the area of this shape and this shape is known as the quadrilateral, okay. So to find the area of a quadrilateral, we are having an equation, the equation is area is equal to half into D into H1 plus EH2. Okay, I will explain the uh, D, H1 and H2. For this is our quadrilateral. For our quadrilateral Q, P, S, R. D is the diagonal. Okay, this is the longest diagonal, the diagonal. Q, S. Q, S is the diagonal or our D, diagonal. See, from Q to S, a line is going. This is our diagonal of the quadrilateral and it is D. Okay, and H1 and H2. H1 is the height of the first triangle see a quadrilateral while dividing by a uh, while dividing by our diagonal it forms a two triangle triangle p q s and triangle q s r okay so these two triangles are having heights and the height of first triangle is pm okay h1 that is our h1 and height of the second triangle en r that is our h2 okay clear and this QS is our diagonal D. Okay. Now we are going to find the area of the trapezium from the following figure. According to our equation, A is equal to half into D into H1 plus H2. So what is the D here? D is given as 52 centimeter. The length is given as 52 centimeter. So D is equal to 52 centimeter. What is H1? H1 is given as 7 centimeter. So H1 is equal to 7 centimeter. And next, what is H2? H2 is given as 11 centimeter. So, for the area of the trapezium, A is equal to half into D. What is our D? 52 centimeter into H1 plus H2. 7 centimeter plus 11 centimeter. And that will be half into 52 centimeter into 7 plus 11, 80 centimeter. So, half into 52 into 18 centimeter here 2 and 52 gets cancelled 2 times so is 26 so 26 centimeter into 18 centimeter that is equal to 468 centimeter square is the area of our quadrant okay now we are on to our next figure this is a pentagon because they are having five sides okay and the question is to find the area of this figure now this pentagon can be divided into three triangles. Okay, I will show you how it is. See, on looking into the pentagon, this A, B, C. Okay, this forms a triangle. A, B, C. Okay, so first part, first triangle. Next triangle, A, E, C. See, A, E, C. This forms our second triangle. And the third triangle, E, B, sorry, E, D, C. This is our third triangle. So, these three triangles join and form a pentagon. So, in order to find the area of this pentagon, we can find the area of these three particular triangles and sum the area to get the area of the pentagon. So, our equation for the area of the triangle is, area of the triangle is equal to half into base into height. Okay. So what is the area of a triangle? Half into base. B is for base and into height. So here uh, for the first triangle we can consider triangle A, B, C. Half into base into H. Half into. What is base for the triangle A, B, C, C? This is our triangle A, B, C and this is our uh, this uh, AC is our base. Okay, AC will be our base for the triangle. So, B, instead of B, we are having 10 and height. What is the height? Height for the triangle is given as 2 centimeters. See, this is our 2 centimeter. So, half into base into uh, height. So, 2 and 10 gets cancelled. 2 into 5, 10 centimeter square. This is the area of our first triangle. And on to next triangle. Here I will put first triangle, second triangle, okay, second, 
what is our second triangle triangle a e c a e c is our second triangle so triangle a e c that is equal to area is equal to half into b into h okay what is the base for our second triangle see this e c is the base this is the longest one and this is a base so 10 centimeter half into b is equal to 10 centimeter into height what is the height height is given a to uh, a have a vertical or a perpendicular line to the base so this is our height and it is given as 2.5 centimeter see this is our 2.5 so height instead of height you can get 2.5 centimeter this 2 and 10 gets cancelled 5 times so 5 into 2.5 5 into 2.5 will be 12.5 centimeter okay centimeter square 12.5 centimeter square is the area of our second triangle and now the area of the third triangle i'm writing here third what is our third triangle triangle e d c e d c that is equal to half into b into h and that is equal to half into what is the base for our third triangle c same base of a e c because e d c this is our base e c is our base so 10 centimeter into height what is our height for uh, this triangle see it's given as 5 centimeter see from d there's a perpendicular line to the base so 5 centimeter and 2 and 10 gets cancelled 5 times 5 into 5 25 centimeter square this is the area of the third triangle now we are having area of first triangle second triangle and third triangle okay now how do you find the area of this uh, pentagon by summing up by adding all the area of the uh, three triangles okay first triangle is 10 centimeter square second triangle is 12.5 centimeter square and third triangle is 25 centimeter square so area of i'm writing is here on the top area of pentagon equal to sum of three triangles and that is first triangle second triangle and third triangle first triangle is what 10 centimeter square so 10 centimeter square plus second triangle is 12.5 12.5 centimeter square plus third triangle is 25 25 centimeter square so that will be 10 plus 12.5 is 22.5 plus 25 is 47.5 centimeter square is the area of the total or area of the pentagon okay now we are on to our third question have you read the question uh, find the area of a quadrilateral a b c d and this is our quadrilateral and we need to find the area in which diagonal b d okay we are having our diagonal b d as 14 centimeter in the question and perpendicular from vertices a that is this perpendicular is uh, 10 centimeter okay a x can name it as a x is 10 centimeter and c y that is perpendicular from c is 14 centimeter and we need to the find uh, we need to find the area of this quadrilateral okay from this figure we can understand understand that this a x and c y are two heights of these triangles right for this first triangle a b d a x is the height and for the triangle DCB, CY is the height. So, for from our, for our, uh, with our equation, A is equal to half into B into H1 plus H2. Here, which D denotes diagonal and H1 and H2 are of uh, heights of two uh, triangles. We can solve. So, our AX will be H1. This will be height 1. And CY will be H2. And our BD will be the D diagonal. Okay. By substituting in our equation, A is equal to half into D instead of D, we are giving 14 centimeter into H1 plus H2. What is H1? 10 centimeter plus H2, 14 centimeter. That will be half into uh, four, half into 14, 2 and 14 can be cut and it will be 7 centimeter. So 7 centimeter into 10 plus 14. What is 10 plus 14? 24. 24 centimeter. Okay. So 7 into 24, what is 7 into 24, 24 into 7, 4, 7, 7, 28, 8, 2, 2, 7, 14, 
plus 2 so assume 168 and our answer will be area of the coordinate is 168 centimeter square now we are on to our next question question number 4 question is the area of the coordinate is 140 centimeter square okay already area is given so a is equal to 140 centimeter square heights of the diagrams are 6 centimeter and 8 centimeter so two heights are given h1 equal to 6 centimeter h2 is equal to 8 centimeter okay find the length of the corresponding diagram so we need to find our diagram from the first two. so a is given h1 is given h2 is given and the one to find is d is the one we need to find so with our equation a is equal to half into d into h1 plus h2 i am substituting a is 140 and half into d is the one we need to know so d into h1 what is h1 6 centimeter plus h2 8 centimeter so 140 into 140 is equal to d by 2 into 6 plus 8 what is 6 plus 8 14 14 centimeter and this 2 and 14 can get get cancelled 2 times so 2 divided by 14 7 so I am reversing the equation 7 d is equal to 1 40 okay 7 d is equal to 140 7 into d is equal to 140 and the d or diagonal is equal to 140 divided by 7 7 and 14 gets cancelled 2 times so 20 centimeter is the length of the diagram